Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we're talking about Deku was an animatronic. So, in the last video Deku, well, well, we moved on after Izuku was captured by the heroes and was brought to the, well, support class where Izuku met Mei Hatsume. Because Mei Hatsume is a teenager, the rules for an animatronic that's possessed by Remnant or Izuku in this case, or at least in my universe at least, because Mei Hatsume is a teenager, Izuku doesn't kill her even though they're basically in between a child and a adult. After all, I'm also going to become, you know, an adult technically, because I'm soon to be, like, I'm soon gonna be going to college, even though I'm 16. It's just a bit weird in my country. In my country, I'm basically, like, going to college very soon. So, um, moving on. When Izuku met her, they talked a little bit and chatted, and she was interested in Izuku's parts. But when they were talking about, you know, the spare parts, they see Mr. Aizawa. And when Izuku saw them, or him, let's just say he goes into a berserker-like state and gets ready to kill him. But another hero arrives, named Eiji, which is, well, which he's the number 17th hero by the name of Exorcist. The reason why he's called that is because his quirk is a bit different. It allows him to basically act like a ghost and even talk to ghosts which he creates chains that bind Izuku, telling him to calm down, and even telling him that not all adults are bad, which Izuku gave up and decided to basically now work for them. So, Izuku was told that he's going to be working with Aizawa, which he's going to become a student at UA. So, when Izuku gets there to his class, Everybody was pretty welcoming of him, even though he's technically a ghost. So, Izuku sat right next to Hokagure, aka the Invisible Girl, which Izuku can actually see. In this iteration of this universe, or at least my interpretation, she has blonde hair and blue eyes, and she looks absolutely adorable, and yes, I'm basing it off, well, the actual, like, canon design for Hokagure. I even though, in my universe, I just imagine her with, you know, pretty long hair. Not, like, as long as, you know, like, you know, like, typical anime fashion. Like, um, like, long enough to her shoulders, basically. So, after meeting all of his classmates, Izuku starts getting ready to leave with Aizawa, which... Aizawa is going to be living with Izuku because he's going to be Izuku's guardian. So... When Izuku gets there to his home, Izuku goes to sleep in his animatronic self, as it's basically the end of that episode. So, um, that's basically out of the way, so let's talk about what happens next. So, Izuku wakes up as everybody, or at least him and Aizawa, starts getting ready to go to school. So, Aizawa starts bringing Izuku into a little stroller. Not really a stroller, it's more like his animatronic like body is being strolled around in a stroller. Don't ask what it is, it's basically like those boards. I don't know what to really call them, I'm just gonna call them strollers. They, it's basically like a little platform that has like a little like, you know, um, what do you call it? Like, I actually don't know what to call it as well. A handle, let's just say handle. And it also has little wheels. So he starts bringing it to a elevator, which they have in his apartment. So, after bringing it there, he starts putting it in his car, which he gotten from, from a certain friend. Let's just say Mr. Well, wait for a second. Mr. All Might. So, he starts driving Izuku to his school, aka UA, as they made it there, as everybody starts going in into the classroom as everybody was told that they're going to be going to the USJ. So everybody starts getting ready, including Izuku, as everybody starts moving there. So when they were getting over there, 
Ezekiel brings a box of his friends. Being the gigantic, not really gigantic, more like, you know, child size spider puppet things with multiple eyes that can see, like, literally everywhere. They basically have, like, the same, like, sight as a um, chameleon. If you don't know, chameleons have weird looking eyes, which allows them to basically look around, like, literally everywhere. Because of this, well, they're easily able to catch prey and also escape from, you know, predators. So, when Izuku gets there, Izuku starts going into the bus as they start going to the USJ. Everybody starts talking about their quirks as it gets to Izuku, which Izuku is in his animatronic self, as Hukagari says this. So, Izuku, do you have a quirk in your past life, or... As Izuku just says this, No, I don't really have a quirk in my past life, but in this ghostly-like form, I'm able to basically levitate objects. And if I'm in this animatronic form, I'm basically able to do anything. I can jump pretty far, I also have immense strength, and thanks to my special telepathy, I'm able to call on these things. As she says this, um, what are these things that you're able to call? As Izuku starts using his telepathy to basically, well, cause these friends to come out of their box, as everybody was kind of afraid. As Izuku just says this, don't worry, they won't hurt. After all, they're technically extensions of my being. I'm also able to see through them. As everybody starts saying, so what do you actually call these things? As Izuku just says this, I call them my friends. As one of them being Tenya Ida says this, your friends? May I, may I ask, why do you call them your friends? As Izuku just says this, it's simple. After I died, I basically felt alone. So, these things are basically the only things that I can uh, prosecute. I meant, what, um, I meant perceive as my friends. These are the only things that I perceive as my friends. After all, back in the day, most people just came to the, you know, to that old rundown circus or festival or whatever just to annoy me. So, these things are the only ones that I can just confidently say that are my friends. As everybody was kind of sad, Bakugo felt angry at himself, saying, Why is Izuku saying all of these things? I thought I was his friend. As he remembers everything that he had done before Izuku basically turned into this, as he says this, Oh yeah, those days. As Izuku just says this, um, I, I, I should just put them back. As Izuku starts bringing all of his friends back into the box. So, after a while of talking, mostly just, you know, conversations about, you know, like, social media and other things, which Izuku doesn't get at all, as Aizawa calls them out and says this, Alright, everybody get out of the bus. We're finally here. So, everybody was told that they can get out of the bus as they see the USJ in front of them. Everybody was shocked that the USJ was that large, but Izuku always thought the USJ was always this large. So, wait for a second again. So, as everybody starts looking around, they see Class 1B arrive. As everybody starts telling everybody about Class 1B, as Vlad says this, Whoa, what the heck? I didn't know that you have animatronics. So what you're gonna do with this thing? Entertain people? I can't believe you're actually just entertaining people for today. I thought you would always be, forever be, you know, the rough type. <laughs> as he says this, Sorry, but he's my student. As Vlad says this, Excuse me, like, sorry about that. Um, 
wait for a second. Sorry about that. So, he says this. Excuse me, what? As Izuku comes out of his animatronic self and says this. Um, it's nice to meet you. The name's Izuku. Even though I look like I'm 8, I'm technically 15. But I still have some mental impairment, so I sometimes act like a 8 year old. As one of them, being a girl with white hair, says this. Hmm. What type of quirk do you have? As he says this. Um. Um. As. Well, Aizawa just says this. Well, his quirk is just a ghost quirk. It allows him to act like a ghost. And he doesn't have a physical body, so we mostly use this animatronic as a actual body. Ha ha ha. As one of them being a kid by the name of Monoma says this. Nice to meet you. The name's Monoma. By the way, don't trust these people over there. The ones that are bad. Those are the bad people. As he points at Class 1A, his classmates, as Izuku just says this, really, as he says this, yes, only believe in us, I'm obviously better than everybody else, but they are the bad people, as one of these um, students of Class 1B smacks him onto the head, as this girl with gigantic fists says this, I'm really sorry about Monoma, Mr. as Izuku just says this. Call me Izuku, Izuku Midoriya, as she says this. Wait, why does that name sound familiar, as Izuku just says this? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> as she says this. Oh, okay, you can call me Kendo, Kendo, um, miss, wait for a second. Kendo Itsuka, it's nice to meet you, um, Izuku. As Izuku just says this, oh, um, it's nice to meet you. As she says this, trust me, you don't want to believe in Monoma. Trust me, you can just believe in your classmates. I mean, you can trust me, but please do not trust Monoma. He's sometimes a bad person. As he says this, oh, okay. As the girl with the white hair says this, um, nice to meet you. You can just call me your, um, senpai. As Izuku just says this. Oh, um, nice to meet you, senpai. As she says this. Reiko. As Izuku just says this. Oh, hello, Reiko, senpai. As Vlad says this. Alright, everybody, let's start going into groups. So, Izuku was paired up with, well, four people. These four people are... These people are Kendo, Reiko, Okagari, aka the Invisible Girl, and Monoma. So, everybody was told to look around the whole facility with the advisor or the actual like tour guide being 13. So, everybody starts looking around, seeing the entire like place, thinking that it was pretty cool. Izuku thought it was pretty cool as well, until they see something interesting in the distance. So, that thing was a portal. As they see several villains come out of there, as one of them said this, Ah, 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 this person had hands all over his body including his face, as he says this. We are the League of Villains, and we're here to kill All Might. So, you damn heroes are ready to die. As Izuku and the rest of the heroes start getting ready to fight. So, Vlad, 13, and Aizawa start getting ready, including Izuku, going into a fighting stance, wielding one of his axes, I meant his axe, on one hand, well, he calls upon his friends right beside them, and some protecting the other students. As one of them being Vlad says, Wait, Izuku, what are you doing? As Izuku just says this, What's it look like? I'm going to protect my classmates. As one of them 
being 13 says this. Alright, kid. So, are you getting ready? We need to strategize first. So, Aizawa, you need to take down those people over there. Try and cancel out their quirks. Well, for you, Izuku, start calling upon on your... whatever those things are. And start slashing these villains, but not killing them. And use it... like, use that axe to take down the other villains while they're getting close to you. And finally, you, Vlad, start using your... um, start using your blood thing. I can't remember that blood quirk of yours. As he says this. Alright. So, as everybody starts getting ready, the villains start charging towards them. Izuku starts calling upon his friends to start slashing at the villains but not killing them, just pinning them down by their hands and feet. Letting these, well, well, um, friends slash at their, not really slash, more like stab into their feet and hands, literally just crucifying them onto the floor but not killing them. After the villains subdued, this, well, villain, the leader of the villains, they presume, being the handyman, and right beside them was a figure with a butler slash, like, bartender type suit, with a almost, you know, um, smoky, almost, actually, he kind of looks like he doesn't have a head at all. In fact, the only things that are recognizable about his face is his piercing yellow eyes. As the man says this. Ugh. Konigiri, summon out the gnome immediately. As he says this. Right, Master Shigaraki. As Shigaraki, the man who requested this Nomu thing, appears. The Nomu had a almost bird-like face with muscly almost almost bodybuilder type body as he says this now are you ready to die this monster which we call a nomu has multiple quirks being shock absorption well wait for a second super strength and a special little quirk which I call Super Regeneration. So he's basically immortal. <laughs> There's no way that you can ever beat it. Now, ready to die, you damn fools. And also you, with the... Actually, what the heck are you? Are you a robot? Like, one of those, like, animatronic things? You look weird. What the heck is that quirk even? As Izuku just says this. You disgusting villains. As Izuku starts charging towards the Nomu, using one of his, you know, claws, being the one made out of several different types of hooks. Which, at the time when I made that, I thought it was a cool idea. It was made, um, during when I was making, you know, some of my original FNAF OCs. Which were actually pretty dumb at the time. Which... I kind of want to just forget about that chapter in my life. Just making FNAF OCs that look pretty bad. So, these hooks are basically like multiple different hooks from, you know, from meat to just, you know, normal-ish hooks from, you know, cutting down like weeds of grass or something, or something like that. So, wait for a sec. So, Izuku starts... Don't like digging into the creature's head by using these hooks, slashing at the brain but not killing it yet. As he says this, being Shigaraki, what the hell are you doing? As Izuku just says this, isn't it obvious? Ripping it apart. As Izuku digs his axe into the head of Nomu, slicing it, as the Nomu was actually defeated. Surprising. Actually, not even surprising because the Nomu's weakness are obviously the brains. As he says this, You cheater, you cheater, you cheater! That was supposed to kill All Might! How the hell did you defeat it? As Izuku just says this, Well, let's say I'm not human. Or not even human at all. As Izuku opens up his, you know, animatronic type head in a spring trap type of way, if you don't know, just imagine, like, you know, the whole, like, um, 
cutscene with Springtrap opening up his face, showing the actual corpse of William Afton. As when Izuku does this, he says this, I am not human. And I'm not even a quirk user. But let's just say, I'm a monster. As when Shigaraki and Nagui saw that, let's just say, well, um, wait for a second. Shigaraki starts vomiting, spinning out, like, you know, chunks of his breakfast. As for Konagiri, he was kind of shocked. As he says this, what the hell are you? As Izuku just says this, I'm a monster, but a monster that will protect my friends. And by the way, if you dare hurt my friends, I'll let my other friends take you down with you. As several of these creatures being Izuku's friends, as they start charging towards Konigiri and Shigaraki, Shigaraki gets cut up in the legs being, well, the tendons, or should I say the heel, or should I say the Achilles heel, causing him to basically stop walking. As for Konigiri, he kinda gets sliced in the collar, but doesn't have any major damage. So, he teleports, well, both of them, to a different area being their home base. Wait for a second. So, after Konagiri and Shigaraki escaped, Izuku just says this. <sighs> Izuku just transforms back into his more childlike or spiritual form, coming out of the animatronic. The animatronic self, or the animatronic body, basically flops to the ground, similar to Golden Freddy. So, after Izuku does that, Izuku just says this. <sighs> Uh, uh, god damn that acting, it sounded pretty cringy. As one of them said this, Alright, who the hell just decided to tell him about that phrase? As Mina just says this, Um, why are you looking at me? As Izuku just says this, Um, can somebody bring my animatronic self somewhere else, or can anybody carry it? As one of them being... Um, wait for a second, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, well, a girl, being obviously Kendo, starts bringing it by creating her gigantic hand. As she says this, there we go. Um, Izuku, by the way, what do you mean by that you're not human? As Izuku just says this. Um, um, it was just a scare tactic, yeah, it was just a scare tactic, taking, um, the scaring my enemy, yeah, scaring the villains, as she says this. Oh, okay, so you're basically, like, one of those, like, heroes that decide to scare their villains, as Izuku just says this. Yeah, <laughs> um, 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 as she says this. Okay, um, we should start moving now, as Izuku just says this. Oh, yeah. So, as everybody started leaving, everybody starts looking around at the destroyed, you know, USJ. But not really destroyed, but like, you know, ruined. So, as the police arrived, they basically start escorting all of these villains, which most of them got their legs and, you know, not really their legs, more like their foot and their hands, you know, stabbed. But most of them were just, you know... Okay, thankfully they didn't get killed. So, as they started leaving, Izuku started going back to Aizawa's home, which Izuku just says this. Uh, that was tiring. As he says this, being Aizawa, how the hell do you get tired? You're a ghost. You're basically dead. As Izuku just says this. Well, I'm tired mentally. As he says this. Huh. <sighs> anyway, why did you say that whole, like, stuff, saying, like, you're not human and things like that? As Izuku just says this. Well, I want to scare my enemy, so maybe I should start acting like a monster, I think? As he says this. Huh. <sighs> anyway, kid. 
Um, I'm gonna be getting some sleep now. I'll bring your animatronic self over there to my room. Just go to sleep whenever you can, okay? As Izuku just says this. Oh, okay. So, as he starts bringing Izuku's body to the actual animatronic, you know, the animatronic body to Aizawa's room, or his room, Izuku just looks around the place as Izuku decides to get some sleep already. So, Izuku goes, like, you know, just phases through the door and goes inside of the animatronic body, going to sleep. So, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!